Now we're on to understanding uninitialized variables. When JavaScript variables are declared, they have an initial value of undefined. And we can kind of showcase this by running a console of A, and we can see that it is undefined. So just as we said, when it's initially declared, a JavaScript variable just has this value of undefined. And we can also test this with B and C. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Next, we learned that if you do a mathematical operation on an undefined variable, your result will be not a number. So here, we are saying that the variable of a now is going to the point to the value of a plus 1. But a is undefined, so on this right side, with this expression, we're basically trying to say undefined plus 1. And it's like, what would this come out to? I'm going to put this in a comment. Um, so it doesn't error us out. Like what, what does this come out to, right? So it's going to come out to not a number. Um, it's just not valid here. Next, we learn that if you concatenate a string with an undefined variable, you will get a literal string of undefined. So concatenating is when you're adding two strings together. But here we're not doing that. We're not adding these two strings together. Here we're trying to say undefined plus string. And this comes out to just undefined. Okay, so these are kind of bugs, right? We don't really want to get this, uh, not a number right here necessarily. And so we want to go on to fix these. Initialize the three variables a, b, and c with 5, 10, and i, am, a respectively so that they will not be undefined. Okay, so with var a, we're going to now initialize it with this value of 5. And we can test out if it has changed from the value of undefined by doing a console of a, and we can see that it is now at six. So JavaScript went in and looked at this, um, and this now is saying a is pointing at the value of five plus one, and then JavaScript evaluates this to six, and then ultimately returns back this value of six. Okay, now we can go get rid of this. And we'll go on to the next one. This would be 10. And lastly, we are going to point C at this string of I am A. So now C, instead of being undefined and then trying to concatenate the string, is going to look like this. I am A, and then concatenate with a space. So I'll have a space between them, string. And again, JavaScript will go in and evaluate this expression. Um, and so it'll just come to one string in all. It'll concatenate those two strings just to be one string. And then it will say C is now pointing at this value of I am a string. And we can test this out by doing a quick console log of C. And there we have it. Great. So let's get rid of this kind of messy log and run the tests. Great. There we go. I'll see you in the next lesson.